Hey, this is Andre, and you're listening to Learn and Become Podcast, an English learning podcast for you. What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode. Today, we'll be talking about a powerful key in the learning process. We all know that learning is very challenging. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. So you can expect to learn something from one day to the next day. There is a process, there is um, hard work that you have to put in. There are many hours you have to invest. And that's learning, right? You have to dedicate, you have to work, work hard. You have to keep pressing on to get the results you want. However, there is a very powerful key in this process that I feel that sometimes sometimes we underestimate it, but it can be so precious and so helpful in your learning process. So while you're learning English, I feel like this key will be amazing to assist you in the process. And this is Curiosity. The key I'm mentioning is curiosity. When you get curious about something, you really want to know what everything it is, you will go after the information. You will try to get it. You will you will pursue it until the point where you actually get it. And right now we have a great advantage playing playing our our side which is technology and you don't have to wait like for a week to get to to the class and then you ask the teacher or you don't need to have a physical dictionary in your hands to get to know what a word means or, or something so use this advantage in your favor use it to help you to get better to improve the best case scenario the best possible thing you can do is whenever you have a, a question or whenever you're you're unsure about something and you get curious about a word about an expression about a vocabulary about anything just google it the best scenario would be you google you write it down either on your a vocabulary notebook or an English notebook or in a spaced repetition system such as Anki or any other and so you so you have a way to review that information later on so that's the ba- the best case scenario that's that's the perfect thing you you should do but we know it's not always possible to do it but if you google it simply google check out the meaning of a word, just read it in a sentence, uh, it will help you. So think about it. If you get curious 30 times a week and you Google whatever 30 times a week, now let's say the same word repeats over five times in that week, you're very likely to not forget it. So use your curiosity in your favor. Take advantage of it. And that will be a great ally of yours in the process. So that's my advice for you today in the learning process. Curiosity is your right. All right. Thank you so much for listening this far. Take care. And I will see you in the next episode.